channel. So today's look is just this all matte face. I wanted to give it a try. I've seen it before on a couple people and I just wanted to give it a try and see how I would like it. Um, it's kind of weird that I didn't highlight. <laughs> it feels really weird that I didn't highlight, but um, I'm kind of digging it. You know, I'm kind of liking... Make sure no lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> I'm kind of liking how this looks. Just all matte, no highlight, no nothing. No shimmer on the eyes, guys. No gloss. All matte. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh my goodness, before I go though, all you guys have been asking me for an eyebrow tutorial. And I've been seeing your comments and I promise you guys, I will be doing an eyebrow tutorial very soon, okay? Very, very, very soon. Um, it's just that I want to make sure that when I do it, I'm comfortable doing it in this setup because normally when I do my eyebrows, I do it in my bathroom. So I have to make sure that I'm comfortable doing it here so I don't mess up. But I really am sorry. I just don't want to make sure that there's no lipstick on my teeth when I'm watching this back, you know? <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, so I promise that I'll do the eyebrow tutorial very soon. I just got to make sure that I'm comfortable doing it here. Um, because I'm used to being in my bathroom. Um, yeah guys, so I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial. I put my hair in a pony and I put it back instead of so high. Do you guys like it? But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Also too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And hit that bell down below so you'll be notified when I do upload my next video. And I will see you guys. I love my makeup today. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next one, okay? Mwah! Bye! Okay, so the first shade that I'll be taking is called Red Earth from Anastasia. And I promise, guys, when I get some new palettes, I will be recording with them. Like, I'm so sorry. My All my palettes broke in the move, guys. Remember I told you guys last video? So I'm so sorry. But yeah, I'm going to put that in my crease and blow it out. Then I'm going to take Fudge. And I'm just going to put that in and directly into my crease on top of that uh, Red Earth, basically. And I'm going to um, infuse both of them together. I'm so sorry if you hear my daughter in the background, guys. Um, She's here playing and she she won't be quiet because she's a baby that's what they do they're they're loud <laughs> but yeah i'm going to set underneath my brow with um some translucent powder and then i'm going to mend the two together going slowly across with my big uh blending brush from beach cosmetics then i'm going to take nyx um oh my phone <laughs> sorry guys i'm going to take um, nyx's jumbo pencil in milk and i'm going to put that on my eyelids and then i'm going to take my ring finger and kind of spread that out over my lid because i want this next color called custard from anastasia to really be very opaque her um eyeshadows are already opaque but i just really wanted it to be very pigmented like just stick on to my eyelids you know then i'm gonna take my brush again my blending brush from bh cosmetics and i'm going to um diffuse the edges to make sure that they all blend together then i'm gonna take noir from ABH again guys <laughs> I'm so sorry but remember I said when I get some new palettes I swear I'll, I'll do tutorials with them um so yeah I'm going to take a small blending brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to pop that into the end of my crease and then blow it out so I said that I love my BH Cosmetic brushes and I really do guys like I've had them for years and I love them they're so good and affordable you guys should try them out um so now I'm gonna take uh Too Faced uh liquid liner in sketch marker in black right okay <laughs> in black and i'm going to just line my eyes um you can kind of see it a little bit okay nova please baby Shh. you can kind of see a little bit here how i um you know how i do my eyeliner but i'll do it another detailed one for you guys okay but yeah so i'm gonna put on my eyeliner and just wing it out hi and just wing it out and then i'm gonna take my um my concealer and clean up underneath it okay just yay yay to a sharp wing <laughs> and then i'm gonna take um that powder from cover fx i will list it down below what the shade is guys but i'm going to just contour my cheeks remember this is an all matte face so i will not be using any highlighters today so i'm going to just contour my cheeks and then kind of brush it out a little bit to give it more like bronzy feel and i'm going to hit the top of my forehead 
and I'm going to um, go around my forehead. All the places where the sun will normally hit you will naturally hit you. That's where you want to hit. So I'm just hitting the top of my forehead. And um, yeah, oh, here comes Nova again. What's like, what are you doing, Nova? <laughs> She really felt the need to give me her bear at that exact moment. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, so I'm going to just hit underneath my chin and get rid of that double chin chin. I, I love this technique for that, guys. If you have a double chin like me, this is like your best friend, okay? It just shades that and just makes it look all snatched and shit, you know? <laughs> so yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna do there. And then I'm gonna take a lighter powder. I just take like a louder, like a lighter powder than the contouring powder, and I just um, make a line to just define the contour because sometimes when you're contouring your face, you can kind of get messy with it. And then you're just gonna take um, your brush that you applied your uh, foundation with, your, your powder foundation, and you're just basically gonna brush it out as much as you can so you can kind of diffuse that line. I I like to go in again with the same brush that I used to um, contour with and go over on top of that line just to get it to look a little bit more smoother and it's not so harsh, you know? Now I'm going to take blush. Um, I don't remember what blush this is, but I think it was Dusty Rose by, or Desert Rose by MAC actually. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take that and put it on my cheeks. And because I'm not highlighting my face, I want it to go a little bit more heavier underneath my eyes just to make it more bright. And I want it to hit the areas too where I normally will put the powder highlight just to make it look highlighted, you know, down the nose and above the cupid's bow as well just to make sure that those areas looked very nice and highlighted because we weren't going to put the um the shiny highlight you know so now i'm going to take my one of my other favorite um liners from mac and it's called night moth um i wanted my red lip to be ombre so i'm just going to line my lips as carefully as i can and fill in the corner of my mouth so i can start to um create that ombre effect um so yeah that would help with that you guys if you just um Start to fill in your lips a little bit more. Then I'm going to take Max Ri Ri Wu from um, the Rihanna collection. And you guys can just get um, Ruby Wu. I was looking for Ruby Wu. That's a permanent color from MAC. But I couldn't find it. So I had to just grab my Ri Ri Wu. They're basically identical. Like they're so similar in color. And yeah guys I'm just going to just paint on my lips. And yeah guys that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.